What's going on? Welcome to the Failed Podcast. I am your host, Sam Iscavel. Thank you for everyone who's listening and supporting what we're doing here. We're bringing stories um, about failures and challenges and what we learn from them. In my life, I grew up and, you know, life wasn't so easy. I struggled with many things in school. You know, I was in trouble all the time. I was in and out of different schools and I struggled with reading and writing which, you know, that was my challenge. And I didn't overcome it till later in my life after I finished uh, high school. But the whole journey up there, I had no idea that I was capable of so much more. And so it beat me up for years. And it beat up my confidence, my self-confidence. And and I, I was not able to talk out loud or read out loud. I was falling behind when it came to reading comprehension. All these things that were a result of my challenge were, from anyone's perspective, setting me up to fail. And for a long time, I felt like, man, I what am I good for, right? What am I to do in this world? But here's what happened. My challenge ended up being my workout, right? Let me explain. I ended up developing other areas in my life that I have strengthened and refined. And now, here you go. I'm doing this podcast. I've taught at church. I was in ministry for a long time. I'm able to write papers based on what I'm thinking. And I read a lot of books. I comprehend a lot of things that I study. And I'm not saying that I'm like a genius in any of those areas, but I've come a long way. And I'm so thankful every time I'm able to execute something that revolve around the things that I was once weak at. Like I would have never imagined that reading and writing have opened so many doors for me. And I can look back and say, man, I failed at so many things because of those things. And I can't go back in time and change it. Those exist. And, and maybe it slowed my progression. Maybe I've lost a few years because it took me a little longer to learn something or to find my passion. But here I am now and I'm clocking in and I'm going all in. And I'm, and I'm sharing this with you because I want to motivate you that what is your challenge, right? What's something that you've had to deal with, adjust with? And what has it produced, right? What was it the, the, the workout for? How are you better because of your challenges? And these failures that I had was because I rebelled, because I didn't believe in myself, because I avoided any situations where others were going to be able to see what my weakness was. And so I progressed through life like that. And I failed at many things. You know, I've had some businesses and, and my partnerships didn't go good. And now they're behind me and, and they didn't succeed like I wanted to. Um, and they were challenges. And I learned and I have become better because of them. But were they difficult? Did it take time to get out of that failure? Yes, they have. And along with many other decisions and things that I have done, Now, you're listening to this and you're thinking, man, Sam, don't beat yourself up so much. I am sharing. I'm not beating myself up. The fuel that I have, yeah, it comes from those that support me, from all the listeners of the podcast, everyone that's following us on Instagram at the the underscore failed underscore podcast. Please follow us. All the motivation that we get there, the Facebooks, and uh, there's only one Facebook. I added an S, my bad. (laughs) And that motivates me. But at the end of the day, what motivates me the most is remembering where I came from, remembering the challenges that I had and where I am now. And I can just, I I can identify the growth that I've had. I can identify um, where my strong suits are now. I have progressed. Whoops. And because I have progressed, guess what? Now I can look up, look up ahead. I can set up some goals that are very difficult for me to accomplish But I know the same way that I've grown into the person that I am today from the challenges that existed in my life, I know that I can grow and progress towards those goals that I'm putting ahead of me. So I'm making them difficult. I don't have what it takes to reach the goals that I am setting. The only way that I can get there is if I keep growing and I keep challenging and and I keep learning. I keep challenging myself. That's the only way for me to get there. 
the things that I'm enjoying and benefiting now, that comes from the things that I already have. So I have reached my cap based on what I know. And in order for me to go to the next level, I have to learn and know new things. So my goals are high now. Back in the day, I wouldn't set goals. I would just focus on my shortcomings, focus on my challenges. I don't focus on them no more. I focus on my strengths. I work on my communication all the time. I work on my pronunciation. Sometimes I eat words or speak too fast. I know, I know, but it's all good. That's just a style of communication that I have. But that also connects to my confidence. I am who I am. I speak how I speak, but I do love storytelling. And that's why one of my big goals is hopefully one day I can get, you know, 100,000 downloads per episode on the Feld Podcast. I'm also hoping to get some, um, you know, obviously I want to interview so many people, but I hope I get some pretty prominent people in this world today, leaders, organizers, and you know, you name it. If they're at the top, I want to uh, have access to them so I can ask them a few questions from the perspective of the Feld Podcast. But that takes a lot of confidence. That takes a lot of believing in myself. And I don't base that on uh, what I know now. I don't base that on what I was back, back, back when. I base that on what I was back then and what I've become. And in that gap, there's growth, there's learning and wisdom that I have gained. And I know that I can do that again in order to get from where I am here forward and accomplish so much more. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And um, what can I say? Enjoy the ride. Thank you for your support. Help me spread the word. Thank you so much for listening today.